being on a show that has everyone talking is amazing because when you do a project, you can fall in love with it and you know that you have some sort of synergy with your cast, but you never know how the audience is going to respond, especially with a show like Shameless because it's so gritty and raw. So to get the response that we've received from fans has been amazing. It's a little bit scary when people say they know people like Frank or my dad's like him, and I'm like, really like Frank? But it's been really, really nice to get the response, and they love it. I think you either love us or hate us, but most people love us. This week. The Jasmine set up. Yeah, me, Jasmine, David, and him are going to hang out. Maybe you and Kev? Pass. Have fun in the Viagra Triangle. That's Veronica cannot stand Jasmine. Jasmine is all over the place. She kisses Fiona on the mouth. Are you a lesbian? I thought you were married with three kids. What's going on is Veronica, and she's trying to get Fiona, especially now that Fiona is going through this breakup, of doing all kind of foolery with older men to make money. So it's definitely a nice triangle of friends. And I think that happens a lot of times when you are friends with two different people. One friend is kind of like, what's happening? And I think that Veronica would be okay with Fiona having another friend, but not one like Jasmine. What are you doing? Making a little easy summer moolah the Gallagher way. Where's Liam? In the car. You don't have a car. A friend's car. You crack a window? Left the engine running for the AC. You left a toddler in a running car in this neighborhood? <laughs> And our kids are very smart and very bright, but they, and so they get the difference between what's work and what's not. And so it's appropriate when we're reading the scripts, because they do have to be part of the table reads, because the children are such a big part of the story. However, if they use that language or anything in real life, Auntie Shinola gets them. They know I do not play. And everybody around us needs to make sure that we are appropriate for the children. Because I'm an aunt and a godmother, and so I grew up around a big family, so I, I know the boundaries. So they have a very specific what's work and what's not. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Kevin and Veronica, I think, are one of the most stable couples on television. I think that you can see, even though they're all crazy in these crazy circumstances, the way that they love one another is so great. The way that they have been able to build a life together uh, under these elements and is so great. Uh, so I absolutely support them as a couple. I couldn't imagine them not being together. They Sometimes people are put on the earth just for another person. What the hell are you smiling at? You're a mama bear. What? You're turning into a mama bear with your little baby Ethel Cub. Shut up. My mama bear. Shut it down. My little mama bear. <laughs> Whereas Veronica and Kev are like, no, I can expose to you. I can tell you my deepest, darkest fantasy. I know you will not judge me, which is the biggest thing why people, and I know that we'll probably do it. <laughs>